If I had 500,000 cities in my account, even. Okay, uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? I'll delete everybody's contacts. You're joking. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Money's not going to make you happy. So here we are on Entertainment Speedway. That's what we do all the time, bringing you that entertainment gossip you've been waiting for. Welcome to Breaking Bites, right here on 3 Music Digital. My name is Tastic, and of course I'm here with... Nah. Pushy. Anyway, so today is her birthday. Shout out to you real quick. My invisible dollars right here. Yeah, spreading it on you. you, you need Making to it do rain. Better. Do better. <laughs> Guys, are you watching? Tell me you need to do better. My invisible dollars right here. Like, yeah, I'm making it rain on you, girl. You, you need to give me a treat after this production. Maybe. Don't worry. The treat I'll give you will send you straight to the hospital. I'm so relaxed today. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. We got that. Right. But anyway, so how old are you? How old is the queen of Breaking Bites? I'll tell you all later. You all can DM me if you want to know. I'm going to tell I you. I want to know. You don't need to DM me. I'm sitting right here. Let me know. No, and them. I'm... Okay, them. tell us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, of course, we're rolling up to the stories. We've got some really amazing stories. We're starting off with Black Sheriff hitting it off at um, Off-White. Amazing. Paris Fashion Week. He did his thing again just as it did about two weeks ago at Labrum in London Fashion Week. He had some exquisite designs that he was actually rocking on the runway. We loved every bit of it. We're super excited about him and the fact that he's become not just a star of music, but also a star that is entering and breaking into the fashion industry. Right. Black Hole is more like a fashion mogul in the making. Because I'm not so surprised looking at his music videos, mm -hmm. the kind of outfits he pulls up, and seeing him on the runway with the height, his walks, oh my God. Doing Black his thing like it's nobody's it. business. He's always killing it. Yeah. You know, he was not only the Ghanaian celebrity or popular face that was spotted there. He was spotted with this guy from yep. Free the Youth, yeah, Prince. Prince yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince was also there and then they all killed. They did an amazing job. Right. They were dropping fashion bombs like we're in the Middle East. Exactly right, what they right, did. We love right, them. And right. keep making Ghana shine wherever you guys right, are. Right. We are just feeling your vibe and your energy that you're bringing to the African state or continent as a whole. To the next story, I feel like this is a very critical update that we all need to pay some attention to. Creatives have been saying that, oh, government has neglected the creative arts industry. But they brought up something to actually excite us and we, we just hope that they are going to stick to their word. So right now they're saying that they're going to reinvest 20% of our taxes into the film industry. Whoop, whoop. Government is doing their thing. It will not be the very first tax, you know, added to most of like, you know, our expenses and stuff. I'm just wondering and hoping that this is an initiative that would actually cause government to do something really monumental for the creative arts right. and the industry at large. Right. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, I feel the same because usually we hear that there is this tax, there is that tax, like there's always striking taxes, but we don't see the benefits of these taxes. And we just hope that this time that they've come out to declare that they'll be re reimbursing 20%, we just hope that we can see proof of this we can touch this and say that okay this is the benefit of their word but w most importantly for me i hope this 20 percent will be significant to revolutionize the creative arts industry especially where movies are concerned because that's what we're actually all looking for right now the current status quo you know dictates that ghana's movie industry is almost non-existent right i stand to be corrected but that's how i see it if, if you're talking about movie industries kuma wood is trying they're they're fighting really hard but are they there yet it's still a question that needs to be answered right so, we are dropping bombs on the final entertainment story and this is about our very own rihanna in the building she's on the news for all the right reasons right guys so last night rihanna arrived at jamnagar a city in india to perform at the pre-wedding of the son of one of the richest men in india talk about dollars huh? make it rain huh? 
I, I'm, I'm still showering my invisible dollars, but this time Rihanna's money is real. Like her money ain't fake. Right. We are talking eight to nine million dollars as her payment for her performance. And guys, tell yes. you, eight, eight to nine million dollars in cities. Girl, listen, is... I quit my job. I'm going to sing. Guys, I understand how Terry is feeling right now. Because when you convert eight to nine million dollars to cities, it is one to two million cities. Imagine how rich I could be. But you know, this is just like chicken chain to Rihanna because her net worth is even one to four million dollars. That is all we have for you today on Big Bites. Let us know about what you think about all these stories in the comment section down below. I have been doing this with a man, Terry Tastic, and this was probably brought to you by Redstone Energy Drink. Redstone Energy Drink, discover your 